back on the steps of her old high school, Melanie Parent reminisces about her time on the steps of Capitol Hill. We saw our city that was just kind of in turmoil at that moment, and we just felt very passionate. As the city was beginning to bounce back from Hurricane Katrina in 2007, Parent and her classmates at Louise McGee started to notice troubled waters. Crime on the rise, schools still shuttered, and the fear that their home would stay in shambles. Crime was a major issue when we got back. I know that we couldn't necessarily walk around our city anymore. Um, I know, I think it was New Year's, they had three shootings in one night. So it was just the crime and, you know, seeing our, our fellow students, they didn't have a place to go. But the pivotal moment that set them into motion was the January Crime March. The girls were a part of the crowd that converged on City Hall, demanding change. And I think there was this moment of being down there with all of these other people, and you know the diversity of people that was at that crime rally that got them really thinking. You know, we this can't be what happens moving forward. Like we want to, we want to do something to change this. That's when they decided to form Students of the Storm, a delegation of juniors traveling to Washington D.C., efforting the attention of our nation's leaders to the needs of the Crescent City. McGee always taught us to serve, and this was another way that we can serve the community. And wanting to make a difference and. Do something more and show that, like, we're here, we need help still. It doesn't matter that it was a year ago. Our city, city is still in pain. The girls hit the ground running, scheduling meetings with state senators David Vitter and Mary Landrew, representatives along the Gulf Coast, and even got an audience with then Senator Hillary Clinton. It definitely kind of raised some eyebrows to see young women on, on Capitol Hill lobbying. But you hear about these people, you see them on TV, so it was exciting for them to be listening to 16, 17 year old girls um, just from the city. So it was exciting for them to even listen to what we had to say. This was different. This was actually, you know, getting down to nitty gritty and asking questions and listening to those answers and, and getting information from the girls that maybe they hadn't had before. Now, while they didn't dictate policy or create a certain measure, these girls had a clear agenda, one they say that was well received, and they certainly began to see changes on the local level. I think that the charter school system and the recovery school district, you know, they did do a great job at providing more places for students to learn. And according to their teachers, the students at McGee that year got the best kind of education, one that involved them taking action on their own and learning to evoke change. This is what learning should be. And it didn't involve me. You know, I, I kind of put it in motion, but they took it, and that's the best kind of teaching. It just became such a defining moment in our city's history. We get to start over, and not that many cities do. So we love this city, and we wanted to make it a better place. On your side, I'm Randy Russo, WDSU News.